the Thursday. I'm recording this while it's still relevant. Yes. Yeah, so let's go on to it. Final thoughts, yeah. The final thought. I had to do that again. That gimmick was just great just to use once. Well, you know, my final thought was, oh my god, it was amazing. TF Nation, without a doubt, was better than Auto Assembly last year. It was so freaking awesome. It was amazing. Oh, I just couldn't get over it. It was awesome. I met some awesome people. It was it was great. Wow, I just I got to socialize. I finally got my main goal and I socialized. Yay! So anyway, yeah, I met John, the Wrecker 84. Uh, I met him at Auto Assembly last year because I bought Top Spin and Twin Twist from him. And yeah, I got to meet him again. We got to hang out and it was cool. Because uh, I didn't really get to hang out with him last year. I just spoke to him a couple of times. But that was about it. And I got to hang out with him and that was cool. And um, I got to hang out with uh, Jack. Um, Toy Nerd Reviews, I think that's your YouTube name, I am sorry. I think that's your name. Uh, Jack's a very nice guy, he's a really cool guy. Um, and I got to witness his trip that he <laughs> video recorded. So yeah, that, that was funny. Um, so I got to hang out with uh, John and Jack and that was really, really fun. Both very awesome guys, great to hang out with them and I hope I get to hang out with them next year because I'm definitely going to TF Nation next year guys. No question I'm going next year. As well as that, I got to meet Matt, my friend Matt, uh, Matt360. I've known Matt for a couple of years now and uh, we, we only used to text so I got to meet him in person and it was great that we got to, to actually talk. Uh, that was great, uh, we got hang for a bit and yeah, it was, it was really cool meeting him. I went to the TFYTC meetup, that was awesome. I got to talk to a handful of people from the Facebook group and it was really good. Um, weirdly enough, throughout the entire convention, I got recognised a few times. That was weird, because that doesn't happen. I literally, I was recognised within five minutes of walking into the hotel, that was just, that was really weird. Um, so I went up to one of the crew members of uh, the TF Nation crew and I was just asking him where to get your pass from and he says, hold on, you're that YouTuber and he didn't remember my name, he knew who I was and that was amazing, that was the start of it and my father was a witness. So that was, that, that was weird, that was quite special, yeah. But yeah, I was I was recognised a fair few times over the weekend and that was unreal because that's never happened. I've been recognised once or twice previously, but not a handful of times in a weekend. That's never happened. So that was that was very, very nice. That was nice to know that uh, people watched my videos and said hello to me and said I like your videos. That was that was very nice. That was that was just awesome. I'm just trying to find my autographs. I only got autographs from Richard Newman and Paul Lighting because I already have like two sets of different autographs from Nick Roach and James Roberts on two separate occasions. So yeah, this is my um, autograph from Richard Newman, Rhinox. Really cool. Richard Newman was such a nice guy. It's so pleasant. That's what I love about TF Nation. Is the people there are just so pleasant and absolutely wonderful people and yeah it's it's just just wonderful i was gonna ask him what he thought about rhinox becoming tank or um but i wasn't sure about asking that because you know tank or is a really favorite of mine and uh, this is from paul lighting it's who is perceptor obviously and i got to meet him and that was really cool he was even there to watch the 86 film, and that was even better. That was unreal. Yeah. A guy called David gave me this when I was waiting in the queue. I've no idea what this is, um, but I might open it now just to see what's in here. I, I don't know what's in here, so I'm going to check. Oh, look, it's a little star scream. Anyway. Let's get on to the good stuff. Nick Roche gave me this. This is, I love this. This is beautiful. It's more than meets the eye. Yeah, it's, it's issue 50, but more than meets the eye. Uh, poster for that. 
Yeah, and funny enough, the way he gave me this was very funny. I showed Nick Roach the last Stand of the Records footage, which I mentioned uh, in my Hopes and Fears video, and he absolutely loved it. He was so happy about it, and that, that was brilliant to get that reaction. And I said, look, uh, can I get this all? Can I buy this uh, poster? And could you sign it, please? And of course he said yes. So, well, obviously. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so I opened mine and he signed it. Yeah. Jack. Yes. And then he said, after that clip, just take it. And I was like, wait, what? He's, and I wanted to give him the money for it. But he said, look, after seeing that clip, he said, look, just take it. Don't worry about it, just take it. I was like, wait. I was very surprised. But it was a lovely gesture from Nick Rose. And I love meeting him whenever I go to a convention. That's my third time meeting him. And yeah, always, he's such a nice guy to talk to. Um, so anyone who would be nervous about say getting their last time the signed by Nick Roach, don't be, because he's such a nice guy. He's such a nice guy to talk to. And James Roberts, both very, very nice guys. And you can easily have a conversation with them. It's, they're just both very, very pleasant people. And yeah, it's any time I go to a convention, I always have to go up and say hi, because yeah, just every time you know you, you walk away with a smile on your face because they're so nice because I know a lot of people know that when you go to a convention there is the odd people who just kind of sign think like, yeah bye and yeah that happens um, but at TF Nation they actually talk to you they you get to hang out with them and it's, it's so nice and yeah Nick Roach and James Roberts third time meeting them and every time I've met them they have been so pleasant so welcoming and yeah, it's it's just great. It's great meeting them. I have issue one. Wanna read the rest? I have that signed too. I could have gotten that signed at TF Nation if I came early enough, but I didn't. I really regret that now. Now for my haul. Yeah, that's the happy part of it instead of me just babbling on like a weird idiot. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> I just, I've just become accustomed to doing my Matinee impression on camera. And just because uh, it's a good impression. So I'm quite proud of that. Uh, what should I start with first? I'm going to start small. Uh, okay. I got a Combiner Awards breakdown. I found this in the um, second hand section of Kapow. Because I want to finish Menasaur. Menasaur! Anyone recognise that? That was debuted in Swagwave SM's Combiner Awards series. I was Menasaur, that was great, that was fun. It was all the Stunticons too. That was good, that was fun. So yeah, anyway, uh, I found Breakdown for 18 pounds in the bottom, mainly because I want to finish Menasaur, because they had the perfect effects kit there that had off-road, they breakdown, it didn't have to end. Oh, I, I should have gotten off-road as well, but I never got the chance and uh, they still had the perfect effects kit when I left. I didn't get that either. So yeah, that was, that was, that was a stupid idea, yeah. And now we have the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime Axe. It's the third party axe. I'm not sure what it's called. I can't remember, but it's so cool. That is awesome. I mean, look at it. I don't have Warp Cybertron Prime or False Cybertron Prime on me right now to do a little showy thingy of the X. But yeah, it, it fits on any transformer and it doesn't it doesn't prick me. Like this does. This does prick me. That is sharp. Look at it. Look at that. That is sharp. See? I did not hurt myself. Okay, I'm gonna hit myself up for some time. But I didn't, I didn't cut myself, like I did with the Star Saber, like twice. Okay, yeah, let's move on, because I'm starting to lose it a bit. Okay, okay, I got the Takara Legends Skits. This guy, freaking pain apps on this guy are awesome. Oh man, he's, just, he's so cool. I love the crosscut figure. And when I saw, I saw the Hasbro Skids for 20 pounds, I thought, oh, screw that. And then I saw this one for 22 and I thought, look, the paint apps are like a million times better than the Hasbro one. And that's, 
That's what's important here. So I bought him and I love him. He's so cool. He has stability problems like cross cut, which is no surprise. So he doesn't have a back heel. But I think as long as he positions his legs the right way, he can stand alright. He's still really cool though. I love him. He's so awesome. So much better than the Hasbro version, which is even a really stupid kind of blue. And it's perfect. It's the same as the comic one. Right there. Yeah. That's good. Anyway. Uh, okay. I got the Universe Cyclonus figure. Um, originally I wanted to get the Reveal the Shield uh, Battle in Space one, because the purple was nicer, and it had the uh, More Than Meets the Eye upgrade kit there, and I couldn't find it. So I saw a million of these, and I said, look, I just want a Cyclonus figure. I don't want the Combiner Wars one, I just want this one. So I went with this, no regrets, the robot mode is freaking awesome. This thing is amazing and the freaking light piping on this bitch. Oh my god, I'm gonna put a picture somewhere of the light piping. The light piping is freaking amazing. No matter where you put him, the light piping works. And it's dazzling and cool and I love it. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome, I love it. Uh, okay, I'll go over here. This is Highblau. Uh, this is the Franz Project Browning figure. Um, I This is the only haggle I got over the weekend. Uh, I was at Kapow, at the Kapow stall, and this is 55. And I said to myself, I'm going to haggle for it. So I said, look, I'll give you 50 for it. Or could I take this for 50? at the end of the Sunday and I said yeah just take it so yeah I got this for 50 and it's very nice the headmaster is quite cool the head comes off a bit easily okay now it's gone stiff but um the guns are really cool he's so like smooth and sleek and the colours work and it's like yeah I mean I don't have a good reputation with headmasters um I mean I'm never getting any of the Titan Returns because I hate them but this guy, this guy's really cool, and he's so worth it. He was so worth it. I'm glad I bought him. Yeah, transformation's a bit weird, but you, you, you get over it, he's really cool. And now we've got Silas Breakdown. I got this from my buddy John, as well as the axe. Oops. As well as the axe, I got that from John, and this. And no regrets. I love them. Thank you, John. They are really cool. I love this guy. I love the, the, the broken eye. That's very cool. Yeah, I just, I love it. It's, it's just so cool. And we got like Silas's injured body inside, inside the chest. It's like, oh my God. It's like in that bit there is, is Silas's head inside the suit. It's like, oh my God, that is creepy. But it's at the same time, it's also cool. The transformation's fairly simple. I love him. Chrome's really cool. Black, I prefer the black to the blue. It's so much nicer. So yeah, that's great. Right, yeah, he's awesome. The arms Micron is a bit weird, but I get over that. And next we got these two guys, run amok and run about. I got these guys at a stall for like 80 quid. Um, these two are really cool. I wanted to get the Prime Wheeljack mold uh, to make two customs of Run Amok and Runabout because uh, I want to use them in a project. And yeah, I saw these guys there and I thought, make a custom and mess it up or get these. I bought the guy at the stall twice, kind of hoping they would have gone down uh, over the course of the weekend, but they didn't. So uh, on the third time asking, he saw me coming over and kind of probably thought, oh, this fool again. And uh, yeah, and then I bought them, and he, I say he was relieved to get rid of me with these, and yeah, <laughs> if you're watching, I'm very, very sorry. Yeah, so I got these, and I love them, they're cool, I love this mould, um, I prefer Runabout more than Runamuck, but uh, Runamuck's a bit weird with his massively bright orange and white, but yeah, this guy, this guy is really, really cool. Really nice, I really love them. Is this white and gold or blue and black? <laughs> I'm not funny. I picked this guy up, which most of 
the convention did, I think. It's the Make Toys Striker Madness figure, which is Make Toys' take on Optimus Prime. This thing is badass. This thing is awesome. Oh man, this, this thing's amazing. If you didn't know, so I put some Reaper labels on the, the shoulders for his all about symbols, because I have to. And uh, now he's complete. I love this thing. It's like a more modern, futuristic y looking version of the classics Optimus Prime toy, I guess. Like, put a picture right there. Um, and yeah, I would think there is a resemblance with those two things, like the gun. The gun is, is quite similar, but just more blocky looking, more modern. And yeah, and they, they actually did something with the smokestacks. You see the smokestacks here? These are axes! Damn, like, Make Toys, I wasn't sure to trust Make Toys with this, because uh, I have a friend who had a bad experience with the Quantron figure. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a fun review. I met some guys at the uh, TFYTC meetup who had this and said it was great, and he had this like mental ab crunch. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I met this guy at a Reflector Studio, uh, I think his name's Nick, and he, he kind of hoaxed me into getting this. Uh, he, he, he was just like doing this to me. Like, let's get it. Let's buy it. And surprisingly, that worked, and I did buy it. I was literally kicking people out of the way to Kapow Toy Stand on the Sunday morning to go buy this and no regrets. I love it. It's amazing. It's like the, one of the best primes I have. It's even competing with my Dark Guard Prime figure which I thought was impossible because I love my Dark Guard Prime but this is actually giving it a run for money and yeah, that's, that's really weird. And the final figure, we got the Planet X Vulcan, oh my god! This guy is freaking sweet. This guy is huge, he's big, he's beefy, he's shiny, his dino mode is freaking huge. And he's just all around awesome. To be honest, I've hurt myself with the sword and the teeth. Look at the teeth here. Those things are sharp, I hurt myself trying to transform him. So yeah, that really hurt. But yeah, in the top of these, like the sword is spiky, it's just, oh, just, I was the only one at the entire convention to pick this up, uh, this workshop. I know there was a, a Hepa Hep, something. I can't remember the name, Hepa something. Which was a red and green and yellow repaint, and it wasn't nice. And I got this for 20 pounds cheaper than I thought I was going to and it was worth it. It is amazing. It was the first thing I bought on the Saturday because I literally raced around the entire convention looking for it and I found it. And even guys who saw that I bought it commented on my video and said thanks for buying it at our soul. And I was like, oh, that was so nice. Uh, so yes, guys, thank, thank you for stocking this, just this one so that I can buy it. I'm very happy with it. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, so so there guys is my entire haul there um, and my final thoughts, it was a wonderful weekend, again I met some wonderful people, John, Jack, Matt, all very nice people, it was great, it was just great to meet people and hopefully uh, I might get to see you guys all again next year at TF Nation because I'm definitely going next year. No question I'm going next year. It was it was just amazing. And yeah, yeah. So that's my entire video, guys. This was quite long. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. JG Production signing off, and hopefully I'll see you guys at TF Nation next year. So thanks for watching this, guys. JG Production signing off. See you there, guys.